They call him the Jamie Oliver <laughs> of the Sussex Fire Service. Except, except, instead of concentrating on school children, John Ingalls is focusing on the older generation. Yes, he's been trying to help the residents of a retirement home cook safely and silence the almost constant screeching of smoke alarms. James Trollope has the tale. So if you take the excess fat off, it will reduce any smoke. He's not only an expert at putting out fires, fireman Joe Ingalls is pretty hot stuff in the kitchen too. And he's combining his two roles by showing residents of this retirement home in Henfield how to cook without setting off a fire alarm. Why? Because alarms have been ringing here like crazy, with fire officers having to respond at least twice a week, sometimes more. My son's a fireman for Henfield and he sort of got called out in the morning went home for his lunch, got called out again, went home, watched the football, got called out again. Three but times to three the same times. place. Same place, same day. The small ovens in the sheltered flats were often to blame. The result was that some residents of Sobel Court stopped using them altogether. People are afraid to do very much in case it sets off the wretched alarm. I got to the state where I was almost afraid to cook a bit of toast. As it's sheltered housing, the fire brigade has to respond to every alarm. The challenge was how to reduce the number of call-outs without making residents too frightened to cook. What we wanted to do in the fire and rescue service was encourage these people to cook for themselves, um, but also perhaps incorporate some different cooking practices, which meant that they needed to fry less or that they could buy more lean ingredients which would make the alarm system less susceptible to, uh, to go off. I think it's a good idea and it's obviously the ladies here today have obviously enjoyed it so, so yeah, really good fun. So Jamie Oliver, watch out. I don't I think he's safe. <laughs> James Trollope in Henfield for Meridian tonight. Lovely. Um, just going through some tips on how you can uh, keep yourself safe when you're in the kitchen. One of them, the basic, uh, simple ones is when you're using your chopping board um, if you put a damp cloth on it or some um, wet kitchen towel down, just flip it over, press down, and your chopping board won't slide around it anymore. It's a good little, it's a good little tip to have that, so your, your chopping board will be firmly there. Okay, um, it's going to be uh, oven-baked salmon rubbed with some mustard um, with some boiled potatoes and green, green beans. The other one I'm going to do, I did a, a dish this morning which shows how, what you can use with leftover chicken from a roast dinner on a Sunday. And we do a different dish this afternoon with the same purpose. Bits of leftover chicken that you have from a roast dinner, you can keep those bits and use them again on a Monday for a totally different dish altogether, okay? Um, I've already got some potatoes and pasta on the boil because they're going to take a little bit of time to cook, so I've just jumped ahead with those. Um, does anyone here use spaghetti at all? Moving it than the actual incident itself. 
Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for coming to the show. Did you enjoy it? Over 80. Over 80, wow. Yeah. I'd never have guessed. Oh, she would have kept it. What did you think of the show, girls? Brilliant. Yeah? Very good. Could you see yourself perhaps trying some of the recipes when you get home? Yeah, yes, yes. We don't take some good little tips in there. Yes, exactly. Yeah, well, about... I haven't even looked at them yet. So no. Can't and there's something to bruise when you get home. That's it. What about the, the safety messages? You can can you consider yourself safe when you when you go home? Well, yeah, well, yeah the safety messages. Yeah. Good. Good. So we're not we're not going to be coming out to you for a fire. I hope not. No. I thought it went really really well actually. I was quite happy with all the dishes turned out um, and the, the equipment actually was. Performed a lot better than we expected. The turnout has been fantastic. There was a yeah, lot. There was a lot more people here than I was expecting. Um, I, I like the idea of people interacting with um, the, the pasta twist I did at the end there, and uh, people are enjoying the food really much. They're all commentating on it, and they are going to go home and try these dishes. Um, and the point of today is getting the message across that this food's all about being healthy eating and a safe, safe way of cooking. And that's what people are taking away from today. So I think today has been brilliant. Uh, okay. Really, I'm looking forward to doing the next one. Actually, after you are. That's yeah, what, that was my next question. Are you going to do it again? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll do it again. First time out, I was a little bit nervous um, talking to the people, but um, it didn't show. Uh, yeah, no, I was, I've been really thrilled with doing it today, and actually, um, I can't wait to do the next one. And what about the the fire messages? Do you feel that oh, yeah. you, you'd be nice and safe in the kitchen? My son and I just came over and told me. I hope you're looking at that.